29th of June uh, after Nifty has hit its high of 10,500. I would like to cover the topic of making predictions through uh, price action patterns. Um, so in Nifty itself, we basically see, saw an interesting formation of the W pattern. Uh, when, uh, if you remember, when we connected the pivotal highs to the pivotal lows, uh, this is uh, uh, back in uh, mid March, mid April, uh, sometime around this time. So what we basically saw that we we basically saw that Nifty had sort of formed a W pattern right here. And uh, when we connect these, uh, and when we connect the pivotal highs and the pivotal lows, we see that the pattern actually extended from 9,050 to approximately 7,500, uh, giving it a 1,500 point range. So from 9,050, when we add the 50 point, uh, the, the 1,500 point range, we basically get where the market made its previous high of 10,500, right? So here we basically see um, the question is why did we wait to assess for a W pattern because we know that after an extended down move W pattern is a bullish reversal pattern and once we got the first bullish reversal pattern we know that to trade the W pattern you will trade with the uh, at the uh, breakout uh, of the W for the target and of course your stop loss at this point will be the previous pivotal low uh, which in this case was not generally met comfortably. Uh, the interesting point, however, so I'll just remove these lines. Uh, the interesting point, however, is that uh, trading Nifty despite the target was obviously not easy since we see that the market uh, broadly consolidated after the breakout and only recently in the next leg hit another target. And what we have here is very critical because uh, we saw this, uh, this is clearly a thematic high. So after the W pattern formation, we see Nifty form a clear thematic high. And, and in the process, what we actually get is we have to basically determine if uh, this high has come at a significant uh, resistance point. So for example, uh, we simply connect these points right here. And uh, we will begin to see that uh, here. Yeah. Uh, so we'll begin to see that in the process of uh, because the pivotal high here is at approximately 50% retracement of the entire leg, uh, we know that uh, when um, when the retracement move is up to 50% of the entire leg, uh, the following uh, chart patterns or the following harmonic patterns actually open up for a possible play. So uh, just to uh, mention, uh, one of them would be, of course, the bearish back pattern. And the other one would be the bearish crack pattern. So, uh, so given that, uh, uh, given that the 50% retracement has happened, uh, we know that uh, one of these two patterns is is uh, is likely in play and the question is which one of the two is likely in play now the bearish back pattern incidentally gives the reversal point at 1.6 of the length bc so now we have bc at approximately 10000 and i mean this is basically at 9800 and we have c at approximately 8800 so we have a pro we have 1000 points uh, length here so the bearish back pattern gives it a, a 1.618 uh, 1.618 level of retracement Let's come somewhere around here uh, that's uh, 1600 points from the point C that is 1.6 of the length BC uh, that's one the other one is 2.618 uh, which would come till around 11,500 and the final point or the final resistance point will be at 0.886 length of XA. So as long as Nifty trades still roughly 11,700, we can we can be reasonably, uh, we can uh, lay down the hypothesis that a bearish back pattern is in play. A bearish crab pattern, of course, is is only going to come. Uh, so we uh, we obviously for one of the um, uh, the, the criteria for both bat and crab is that after XA has been formed, 
B needs to be a 50% retracement and C needs to be anywhere between 0.38 to 0.886 uh, retracement and we have 0.442. Once the bear, so uh, now the only thing we are trying to assert is, is it a bearish bat or a bearish crab? If it's a bearish bat pattern, then the reversal should start from this point till around this point here. If however it is a bearish crab pattern, then we are looking at a very extended move on Nifty, which is not even covered in the chart right now. So this is of course a scenario that we can discuss for later. Uh, so just a uh, so just a quick uh, recap on what we have discussed. Uh, we know that prices tend to move um, uh, in uh, in trends, which means they either have clearly forming highs. So we have uh, these kind of moves. They are clearly forming new highs, new lows, and new high. Uh, starting the point A in the Elliott wave. So either the market clearly moves in trends or the market broadly moves in a range. Um, I mean, as the image will uh, load, the, the market could broadly move in a range. Sometimes in the range, the markets form patterns. Sometimes these patterns are visible to the naked eye. For example, an extended W pattern, as we can see here. This also incidentally is a W pattern. Right. So this is giving Nifty further targets. So from 9800 to roughly 7500 is 2500 points. So it's giving it a target of roughly 12,000 uh, or more. Uh, so we are already seeing um, uh, bullish reversal patterns, but we are seeing this in the backdrop of certain uh, long term. Uh, so in the short term, we are seeing bullish pa uh, reversal patterns. And in the long term, we are seeing harmonic patterns come into play. So the question is, which one of the two uh, is likely to play out this only time will tell and uh, uh, yeah so for now the question is how do we approach nifty just now uh, when we look into the price action closely we see clearly that the market has formed a higher high but it has done so uh, with a bearish engulfing candle uh, the good thing is that the bearish engulfing candle is not yet confirmed uh, therefore leaving the bias to be on the long side uh, as far as the market is concerned in either case we would expect that nifty will continue to create a new high and a new low so if we were to pull down a low it would be at anywhere around this level so just to be clear uh, we can simply uh, select uh, fibonacci retracements and we see that nifty is currently well, at a very strong uh, i mean um, i mean if this is confirmed uh, it's a very strong uptrend but reasonably safe to assume that at approximately 10000 levels we have 50% fibonacci and at 61% we have 9900 so we should expect perhaps uh, i mean if possible uh, a pullback till here uh, if at all and a continuation move this is the broad the this is the broader expectation of the market however it is uh, we are yet to see a, a confirmation of the bearish engulfing and it is possible that nifty could simply take support from one of these levels um, any one of these levels and continue with the uptrend so the general idea is to stay long on the market till the previous low of 9500 is broken a positional trade is of course to sell the 9500 put and after a few days, if uh, this resistance is confirmed, then the next trade would be to sell the 10,500 call, banking that Nifty will trade in this range if this particular resistance fails. So, uh, so we have to be as traders open for all possible scenarios. And uh, yeah, so in the short term, uh, we will continue to expect that uh, then uh, that uh, the bearish uh, engulfing pattern is not yet uh, confirmed. And uh, till that is uh, till that remains the case, uh, there is merit in staying long on the market. And uh, of course, uh, any red candle will confirm the bearish engulfing and uh, maybe uh, in the in this week it justifies selling 10,500 call provided you are also selling the 9,500 put so this would be the uh, broader trade assessment for nifty um, we discussed the uh, trends we discussed a few patterns that are ongoing and of course the harmonic patterns that are in play hopefully this benefits uh, you in your trades in the future have